today is July 4th. You know, this is like Independence Day, where everybody is so happy to be an American and, and celebrate their freedom from the tyranny of um, having to pay taxes to the British Crown. And let's be honest, that's what that really was. That was really nothing more than a struggle from between the bourgeoisie in America and the bourgeoisie in England. A fair struggle nonetheless. A step that did needed to be taken. That's true. And it, it was a step up from that. But here's the issue. America didn't become a good thing because it broke away from the British. In fact, it became a worse thing. Technically, it, it made it a step forward in historical development. But uh, it became a much worse thing. In terms of the genocides, the slavery, and all of that, a much refusal to stop doing those things. But what's important here is to recognize what America is, what it has always been, and what it will always be. America never was freedom. It never was democracy. It never was the pursuit of happiness. Do you ever f think it's funny that nobody ever defined what the pursuit of happiness actually is? There's a reason for that. It's supposed to be incredibly vague, so you can call it whatever you want. And by that, we mean chasing profits. Because it sure as hell isn't getting married, because some people aren't allowed to get married because they're the same sex. It sure as hell isn't having bodily autonomy and having right to an access of abortion, because the happiness of a forced parenthood is uh, well, something you'd be miss missing out on. But enough about criticizing America as it is. That's fine. You can find a billion people who've got criticism. Let's talk about the basis of America and why it's never going to be this great thing. The whole American identity, everything that is America, is genocide. The pilgrims and whatnot that came over and the theft of land. This is America. And we have a divine right to exist. We have a divine right to take this land from the people who lived here. That is the basis of America. There is no nonsense about being patriotic towards that. Or, as some people would say, creating some kind of alternative version in the future. There's a reason why, despite the end of slavery, the divide between white and black continues to exist, and why racism continues to exist. Because America is racism. It is founded. Its whole identity, its whole raison d'etre, is racism. A divine right to take land away from other people. A divine right to take labor from African slaves. And n nothing you say is going to change that. S certain political groups or orgs or whatever vague term they're using to avoid paying taxes have created all kinds of nonsense ideas about what America is when it is certainly not. These are people who have no identity. They don't even know themselves. How many times have you seen a patriot? Think about this. Think about those hardcore right-wing patriots and how many of them have very little personality themselves. And they, they, they never be anything outside of being a patriot. Like, everything they do, everything they say, their entire personality, their mannerisms, the way they talk, the inflection in their voice, is all this hyper-nationalist patriotism. 
Because it isn't even just them. It isn't just the country. It's everything. It is their soul. It is their 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 whole being. Their essence is America. Everything that they they ever they ever think, they ever feel, everything that they do is America. This reactionary concept that is America, and it can and can only and, and that's that's their whole personality. That's their whole thing of being. The whole idea. Look at them. The, the pro gun stance, and there, there's there's a correct and an incorrect gun stance. Like there's pro gun wrong, pro gun right. Their adherence to saluting ten cents worth of Chinese nylon, known as the American flag, a country that never gave a shit about them. When the founding fathers created election laws, they made it basically impossible for poor people, even white, even poor white men, from being able to vote. Putting them, like, they'd have to go ten miles just to get to a place where they could vote, making it basically impossible. And when they said, we the people, they literally meant those guys in that room right there. They didn't even mean all white people. They didn't even mean just just white male landowners. They meant only rich white landowners. But you see, see what I'm saying here? Their rugged adherence to an idea that idea that is America, that essence that doesn't even care about them. Yeah, you got some advantages for being white. Well, that certainly is true. But in the end, the system that it fostered, that capitalism, America might love you because you're white. <laughs> the capitalism doesn't love you at all. Capitalism would be just as hot, just just as eager to see you like. Um, what's that, that sparrow from The Simpsons, the Albanian agent? The uh, machinery of capitalism is lubricated with the blood of the workers. Yeah, that's you. Maybe the whiteness project that is America likes you. <laughs> I can tell you, capitalism doesn't. And this whole concept of America celebrated as though it were still some kind of positive force, which it was a positive force at one time. Stepping away from feudal notions of property ownership and land ownership, etc., towards, you know, if anybody had the money to be able to afford land, then, then they should be able to have it. You could, only, you could only be in the elite if you were connected by family rather than by having money. It's a shitty system, but it's still a step up from what the Brits had. And that, that system, it's time to go. It has to be gotten rid of. Notions of American mysterious prosperity for everybody. That's, that's the great thing about America. Everybody can prosper, or anybody can prosper. And even some as foolish as to thinking that material reality is now infinite because of some stupid idea that, oh, we're going to do the space lasers that, that mine the asteroids and some other nonsense. It's a continuation of that same nonsense. In America, you can succeed and you can expand and grow and become rich, rich, rich. And even how American is it that some completely idiotic new version of that has suddenly come up? Look at what poverty exists in America, and what poverty existed in America when it was created. And what a falsehood that was. But they're really going to do it this time. No, 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 this time it's going to be for real, because we'll have the magic of... reality not standing in the way of just infinite luxuries, because that's what communism is about, infinite luxuries. Well, I mean, that's really just mindless consumerism. A commercialism, depending on how you want to see it. It's, it's frankly idiotic. And how this is nothing more than an extension of that same ridiculous reactionary ideology. 
all of it false promises that f physically can't even manifest themselves. It's crazy, the continuation of this nonsense. And it's, it's going to keep going. Because there's a percentage of Americans that cannot let go of America. You wonder why there's so many similarities between these socialist patriots and actual right-wing nutbags? Because they're both hopped up on the same false identity of being American. And that's the reason why there's such a connection there. They both believe in something that is nonsense. They both believe in something that was a lie. They both believe in something that was progressive hundreds of years ago. They still believe in that lie that is America. That racism that is America. That exploitation, brutalization, genocide that is America. That white supremacy that is America. And despite their pathetic attempt to put a socialist stamp on it, it remains the same thing. There is no good America or bad America. America is bad. It has to go. There has to be a new society. Isn't that the whole goddamn point of being radical? What is it? The point of radical to go to the roots and build completely anew? And these socialist patriots, they don't want to go to the roots. They, they, they want to leave the roots there. That's because it's still America. They still want it to be America. And they still want their religious fundamentalist nonsense. The same thing that founded America. It's, it's idiotic. And don't start screaming I'm an atheist or something. You just want to take away religion. I'm not an atheist. But I'm smart enough to know when a religion shouldn't be in the government. You know, like the Founding Fathers did. The whole reason we have a separation of church and state to begin with. But then again, why let that get past you? Willing to embrace all the reactionary nonsense lies that America is, but the one thing they wanted to do, the progressive thing, was to remove religion from from the government. Oh, yeah, they're just gonna just go completely do the opposite of that. Which shows you what frauds they are to begin with. They are nothing more than fascists. And that should tell you everything you need to know, because that's the reality of what's there. They literally are just fascists that want to keep America what it is and infuse it with more religious nonsense. Not unlike Nazi Germany, and despite protestations to the contrary, Nazi Germany was not atheist. That's, that's an idiotic lie. They were very, very allied to the Catholic Church. Jesus Christ, the fucking belts that soldiers wore thing got with God. It was a very heavily Christian society. Yes, and I'm aware that there was some kind of paganism around the end, which is the exception, not the rule. And by the way, since I know many of them are, the socialist patriots are terribly ignorant, not all quote-unquote pagan religions are the same. And I'd like to remind them, because they don't care, that pagan is a hate term. Pagan religion refers to a collection of aspects, no religion of which completely contains all of. Not, There's no religion that contains absolutely everything that's described in pagan. So there is no true pagan religion because of it. Pagan is just a hate term that Christians use. Imagine that. The CPI and organizations like that using a hate term and their dog-whistling anti-Semitism and all kinds of other fascist nonsense. So just remember that when you throw a fit at this video because you don't like the mess, you don't like the truth about you being exposed. And just remember, it's you that's the fucking problem. There's a reason why. 
Marxism is about materialism and not about idealism, which is what you're pushing. Nonsense. You are a perfect reflection of the lie, the utter lie that was the Founding Fathers. There was no intent for democracy or freedom or anything like that. It was about not having to contribute to society. Or by society, I mean the British Crown. There's a reason why the rich are able to get away with whatever they want, because that was the basis of the fucking society to begin with. So just remember that. When you can't shake off your your the racism in your in your groups and in your people, when you can't when you can't shake off the prejudice, you can't shake off that religious control. That's why. Because you are America. Every single thing, reactionary thing that America is, that's you. And it is never going to be any different. Because there is no good America. America is a lie, period. And all you want to do is continue that terrible lie. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.